I'm finding the pesto bay quite hard to get into. That's it. That's it. Get aggressive with it. Pesto has to be strong and dominant and cranky. It's used to being very nice and sweet. Exactly that, but really fierce and aggressive. Everything's very angular and like big shapes. I feel like I have to go really over the top to do that. And going over the top makes me feel really self-conscious. <laughs> Not really working yet. And as if by magic, Frankie and Kevin are here now. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> We're going to talk about your pasta doble oh. in, in a moment. But first of all, well done on your Charleston. It was such a feel-good factor. Oh, Have you kept you. that frock? It's amazing. <laughs> you need no, to. It's so, so good. <laughs> uh, and to go from the waltz to the Charleston, such different disciplines. Mm. But you do them effortlessly. Thank you. Is it harder than you are making it look, Frankie? Yeah, it doesn't feel effortless, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, that was quite a challenge for me, the Charleston. Um, I thought it would feel comfortable because it's quite upbeat and I'm used to ha kind of having to dance like that, but um, there was a lot in one song, I felt. Yeah, it was, it was very well yeah. yeah. A lot of yeah. choreography. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> are you making it any easier this week? You're not, though, are no, you? No, no way, no way. We're going very bold again. Um, it's not going to be like a, a jukebox diner theme, though, so no one's going to get confused. OK, no. but... yes, between... <laughs> I know, how difficult is that for you when you've got, when you've got Charleston and then you've got a sort of 50s theme like that? And is it a bit frustrating because then the judges bring that up? Mm. Is um, it confusing? A little bit, but it's, it's just an interesting challenge. We want to take risks and we want to sort of have a gamble on it, you know, and, and, and do break something bold. Don't we do, yeah, break don't boundaries. We? Yes, and, we and do. That's, what, that's what we want to do. We don't Goodness want to play it safe. Goodness knows what they're going to give you next week. <laughs> um, 30 points both weeks. Really, really good scores. Um, how much do you want to get more? Well, I, yeah, it would be nice just to even get one point more. So yeah. we feel like we've kind of moved on a little bit. But yeah. you can't complain with 30, so... I know, it's a good yeah. score. Yeah. And at the end of the show, both weeks. Uh, now, Len did mention last week, great line, Frankie goes to Hollywood this week. Yeah. What can we expect There was from a line you, I wasn't Frankie. expecting. <laughs> um, <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> never heard that before. <laughs> what can we expect from you this um, week? I don't, well, hopefully some aggression um, and a, a little bit more... Fire, a bit hopefully, feistiness, yeah. apparently. <laughs> that's what I'm going for, so hopefully that's what's going to happen. Okay, well, see, this is the thing. What are the key points to a Paso Doble, Kevin? Talk us through. Well, it is about the lines, and it's and like Frankie was saying, uh, like I'm trying to drill into it, it's about the, the sort of passion and fire and aggression and boldness of it all. That's okay, what we've got to yeah. find. All right, and when you're talking about the lines and the Paso stomp, yeah. so that, could you demonstrate for us a little bit, Kevin? A because you're stop, so yeah. good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, you want it to happen fast, 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 <laughs> fast and strong and bold as okay. the car and you want to sort of thrust your hip forward with it. Your hips forward, you want to go, go. bang! Oh, 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 oh you yeah. took my eye out then. <laughs> Lord, that's fantastic. That's what I've had all day, <laughs> the <past laughs> days. How, I mean, how difficult is it when you, you, you do a fun dance like the Charleston and it is quite sort of Frankie-like, yeah. to do something that is quite aggressive and you're not an aggressive person. How big an ask is that, Frankie? It's hard, especially because with Kevin, like, our, our relationship isn't really like that. We just kind of laugh and take the mick out of each other nope. and we don't really take each other that mysterious. seriously. You think you are. Mean and moody and um, dark and mysterious. Yes. <laughs> Kevin likes to believe he is, but it is hard oh, to kind oh. of look at him, especially because when Kevin's going for it, I just can't take him seriously. I mean, he's amazing at it, <laughs> but I just don't, the two just don't <laughs> go together for me. Actually, talking of taking Kevin seriously, obviously yeah. you've been inspired by Kevin's dancing. It does yeah. seem, slightly worryingly, that Kevin <laughs> has been, in uh, been uh, uh, influenced by your career, mm. um, and he is possibly thinking about another career himself. Have a look at this. <laughs> Come on, Kev. Sorry, I was too busy thinking about my boy band. So when I see, listen, it is my decision And I keep on messing up the words You know, never say never. <laughs> I'm not sure it will quite take off, if I'm honest. I could come on tour with it, like me, Aliash, Asha <laughs> and Trent and Tristan. We could be the Wednesdays. What about Brendan and Anton? Yeah, they can join in as well. They're too old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, there's going to be, I know, <laughs> there will be banana skins on the floor yeah. when you're doing yeah. your sabotage central. <laughs> I think you might be onto something there, though, the Wednesdays. Really? I can't mm. wait to sit yeah, yeah. Frankie's face. Please mm. don't do it. No. Can I ask, these incredible routines that all you pros put together, and it's week after week after week, and you've got yeah. to come up with fresh ideas. How long does it take you to choreograph one of those routines, Kev? 
Um, usually to come up with the first sort of idea, not long, because I, I, I get sort of, I have to wait till the evening, I can't do it in the day, because I'm oh, not right. inspired okay. in the day, right. so it's I wait till the excitable evening, as well. yeah. and then I get really excited about it, I dance around in the living room with my headphones on, and I'll sort of create a routine, and then I'll spend the next sort of six hours <laughs> second guessing it, and going, now that would be better, and that would be better, so it takes ages in the end, initially about an hour, and then it just takes ages, because I get really excited about it, and I want to Chuck the kitchen and then he in. comes and shows me and I go, yeah, that bit's not working. That's not working for me. Change everything. That's <laughs> never going to happen. Does Karen help you as well? No, she's in the living room as well with her headphones on. So Doing we're just sort of dancing around each other. Her. Yeah, just going... Wouldn't you love to be at their house? I'd love to be at their house. Let's get Wayne. I'll bring Norm. We'll come yeah. over. We'll yeah, have yeah, let's all do it. It'll be great fun. <laughs> um, so, last year, you did get 39 for a passing over with Susanna. Yeah, no, Susanna. everyone keeps bringing that up. Just no pressure. Should I just mention that one more time? Yeah. No, don't oh, feel no the pressure, pressure at no, all. No, no, um, no pressure. How confident are you about this weekend? You've seen your frock. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Frankie. <laughs> 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Frankie. Uh, we're out of time. Fear not. We are back at the same time tomorrow when my Friday panel uh, will include this weekend's guest judge, uh, judge the legendary Donny Osmond will be here. Jennifer will be here. Mark and Pixie Lot and their partners will see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>